Hey, how's going on everyone? Welcome again to Algorithms Design and Analysis series. If you have not watched our other videos in this series, check out the link in the description box. Also, you can press the i button. Till now, we have learned what are asymptotic notations and how to analyze an algorithm. In this video, we will understand the algorithm of insertion sort. Also, we will analyze it. Let us understand insertion sort with the help of an example. I have six cards and I want to sort them in ascending order. One way of doing so is I start with second card and mark it as key card and compare it with cards on its left side. If the cards on its left side are greater than the key card, we move to next card on its left side. Else, we insert key card after it. In insertion sort, the sequence on left side of the key card is always sorted. Here, our second card is three. We compare it with cards on its left side and we have only five, which is greater than three. So, we would move to next card, but there isn't one. Therefore, we insert three before five. Third card is seven. On comparing it with cards on its left side, five is less than seven and seven is already just after five. So we do nothing. We move to our fourth card, which is four. Seven is greater than four. So we move to next card five, which is also greater than four. And the next card is three, which is less than four. So we insert four after three. Next card is 6. Compare it with cards on its left side. As 7 is greater than 6, we move to next card which is 5. 5 is smaller than 6, so we insert 6 after 5. Our 6th card is 2. On comparing it with cards on its left, 7 is greater than 2, so we move to next card. 6 is also greater than 2. Similarly, 5, 4 and 3 all are greater than 2, so we insert 2 before 3. Hence our sequence is sorted. This was an example of insertion sort. Let us understand the algorithm of insertion sort. This is the pseudocode of insertion sort. First we have a for loop which starts at index i equal to 2 and increments up to n. This loop iterates on all elements of our array starting from 2. We declare a variable key which we want to place in the sorted sequence on its left side. Next we declare a variable j which is the index 1 less than the index of key element. Next we have a while loop which decrements the value of j every time and checks if the value of j is greater than or equal to 0. Also it checks that the jth element of the array is greater than key. If the jth element is greater than key, then it is shifted to one position on its right side. If the jth element of the array is not greater than key element, then while loop is terminated and our key element is placed on the right side of the smaller element. Now let us analyze this algorithm. We have seen that for loops which start at index i equal to 1 and increment up to n run n plus 1 times and the statements inside them run n times. So this for loop starts at index i equal to 2 and increments up to n. So this for loop runs n times and the statements inside this run n minus 1 times. Next a while loop is dependent on a for loop and it decrements the value of j every time. We have seen that such while loops run n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 times and the statements inside them run n n minus 1 by 2 times. If you are not able to understand how are we finding the number of times these loops when run, please refer to our other video time complexity examples in that we have discussed many pseudocodes and solved their time complexities. Link is in the description also you can press the i button. Let's say the cost of our first statement is C1, the second statement is C2 and similarly say C3, C4, C5 and C6. So the time function of this algorithm would be given by sum of all these numbers which is n C1 plus n minus 1 times C2 plus n minus 1 times C3 and so on. Instead of writing our whole time function here, we will just find the time complexity of this algorithm. As in the whole algorithm, the highest degree of n is 2. Therefore, the time complexity of this algorithm is of theta n square. This is a program implementing insertion sort. This program is written in C++ language and if you want the source code, you can find it on our GitHub profile. Link is given in the description box. Let us run this program. Let the size of the sequence be 10 and our sequence be 23, 45, 71, 25, 96, 41, 
थर्टी थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट ट्वेल्व एंड हेयर वी गेट द सॉर्डेड सीक्वेंस दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स और सजेशन फॉर अस प्लीज शेयर विद अस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉन्टैक्ट अस थ्रू आर इंस्टाग्राम प्रोफाइल लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स